I've been living in my self-converted camper van for almost four years now, and today I'm moving out, so I need to pack up. Before I start packing, I'm gonna do my morning routine, starting with skincare. For my skincare routine, there's been three main things I've been using recently. I have this Luna Foreo, which I've been loving. And then the next thing I do is this AHA BHA by Paula's Choice. And then this serum by Drunk Elephant. I honestly feel pretty sentimental moving out of this van right now. I just feel like over the years, I've made so many memories in this van. I've made some of my best friends in this van, had some of my best adventures and memories, traveled all around the country, recently traveled all throughout Mexico. Throughout everything and all of the inconsistence in my life, this is the one thing that has stayed consistent. So I might not have a house, but this definitely feels like home to me. This is kind of a random breakfast. I had an English muffin, so I used that buffalo sauce from Trader Joe's, fried tofu, tomato, cucumber, lettuce, and feta cheese, vegan feta cheese from Trader Joe's also. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I just don't like the buffalo sauce. It's kind of disappointing because it. I feel like the concept was cool. Tofu is good. I'm in Texas right now, literally face to face with some hogs over there. They do not care that I'm here. <laughs> Right before I went to Mexico, my skin started breaking out a lot and I started to really hone in on my skincare routine. But one thing I didn't realize is that skincare goes beyond what you put on your face. It's also what you drink. So I'm gonna share these two drinks I have been using to give myself glowy, healthy looking skin and I'm really happy with the results. In the mornings, I use this Sun Goddess Matcha by the brand Peak. I really love this matcha in the mornings because it has green tea antioxidants to firm and brighten the skin. It's become one of my daily rituals to have matcha every morning, and to me it just signifies the start of the day. Let's see if this is sweet enough for me. Mm. So in the mornings I drink this matcha. It's really important to have ceremonial grade matcha. I recently learned this and this stuff is ceremonial grade matcha. But I also have this along with the BT fountain. These two drinks work together to create a holistic skincare routine. And I usually have both of these drinks iced. I'll usually have this one in the afternoon and this matcha in the morning. I love the BT fountain because it has natural electrolytes and minerals to provide deep hydration. For a limited time, you can get 15% off plus free shipping for life when you get Peaks Radiant Skin Duo, which is these two drinks right here. And you also get a complimentary starter kit, which includes the beaker that I was using earlier and the whisk. Side note, I love this whisk so much. I have never found a whisk that has, it's like rechargeable and this one's rechargeable. Love Love that whisk love peak I know you guys will love it too so the link is in my bio or description for that and I'll get into why I'm moving out of the van some of you guys already know I'll get into that a little later <sighs> we're gonna start by organizing my laundry and folding that and then putting that back in my big closet this closet that I have is massive it also doubles as my seat it's been a while since I took out all of the different organization buckets though cleaned them out and put them back in and then folded everything so I'm just gonna do a deep clean on that drawer and organize all of my clothes I'm just spraying white vinegar down now and really wiping everything surprise me with Taylor Swift concert tickets today. Yep. I'm freaking out right now. I'm going to the Eras concert tomorrow. This is my girlfriend's like biggest dream. She 
keeps talking about it and saying, I wish I was there. She's my whole childhood. So I'm about to surprise her with Air's tour tickets. I decided to surprise her by doing a little scavenger hunt with notes on it. First one here, and then you'll see. I'm ready. You can come in now. I have a surprise for you. Okay. You need to open that right there. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Sarah, I have a special surprise for you today when you've been waiting for your whole life. Do you remember that night we stayed up all night singing? Go to where the music is played. The speaker? No. Oh. <laughs> the guitar. One of my favorite parts of our relationship is how much we connect on and love the same things, even as children growing up. And now we have a little fur child of our own. Go to where there's a picture of Julia. <laughs> Sarah, it was enchanting to meet you. <laughs> Open the last note. No, Tori, no. No. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I woulda, coulda, shoulda done anything to make you happy and now your wildest dream is coming true. You belong with me tomorrow night? No! <laughs> Shut up! We're actually going. Yeah. We're going to Taylor Swift. Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> no, this doesn't feel real. <laughs> no! Oh my god, I can't believe it. What are we gonna wear? We've been looking at all the Airs tour content and we never thought it was a possibility because we're leaving America for such a long time and we're leaving so soon. The tickets are so expensive, but she got a good deal. I know we're making a big deal and it's just a concert, but to us it seems like it's a big deal. Yeah, and we never go to concerts. Like honestly, the last concert I went to was probably Taylor Swift when I was in high school. <laughs> really? So this is a flash forward to our time in Houston, going to the concert and everything that happened. See you there. It has started raining and hailing, if you can hear. I'm so grateful that I'm at my dad's right now, so he has this garage I could pull under and protect my van from golf ball-sized hail that is apparently happening right now. I finished organizing my clothes, and now I'm going to move on to defrosting my fridge, but before I do that, I thought I would share why I'm moving out of my van, and the reason why is because I'm doing a four-month-long trip to Asia. <laughs> this rain is so bad. It's gonna be the longest I've ever traveled outside of the country, and I feel nervous, but I'm also really excited like I know that there are gonna be so many memories that we make but I do feel a little scared too if you're interested in following along on those adventures be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be posting tons of videos from Asia and this is episode one of our Asia trip okay now let's defrost the fridge these are the tools I'm using I have a bucket to get the ice into and these rags to soak up any of the melted ice afterwards so I'm gonna turn the temperature off. Look at all of that ice, that's crazy. I'm using a wooden spatula because I don't wanna damage the fridge itself. Look what we got from this. That was much easier than I thought it'd be. Now what do I remind you? What did I say that I can never take back? We are going to put all of the food that could go bad or I just don't want in here, we're gonna put it in this basket and then bring it inside to organize and clean out. this morning and then Tori's gonna make us the best latte I have ever had in my life. <clears throat> it's like built pressure in the mason jar. <gasps> I 
make the espresso and then I put it in a mason jar to shake it up with some brown sugar. And that's a brown sugar espresso and then I'm gonna put it with oat milk that Sarah just made. All right, the next thing I'm going to do to prepare for going to Asia is setting up a journal. That way I can plan my itinerary, my calendar, and just organize things. I'm using a very thin journal. I have a normal bullet journal that I use, but it's pretty thick and it's a hardcover, and I just want something thin and transportable. I also have this book of stickers that I love adding stickers to each of the pages. I think it really makes everything look good. And I'm just gonna have fun with it and decorate, and I'm really excited because art makes me happy. hot in this greenhouse, so I'm gonna move outside to do the rest of this journal. I finally finished the journal. It took a lot longer than expected, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I kept it pretty simple and open so that when I am in Asia, I can kind of do my own thing in it too, and there's a little flexibility. I formatted every single month the same. I started with just like an overall itinerary and our flight information and color coordinated them. And then before every single month, I wrote down a bucket list for that country we were gonna be in, as well as hotels so that I could write down any hotels that we book. And then I have the overview of the month and so I can write different itineraries we have throughout that month. And then I also have on the side of that a weekly to-do list so I can write that down. And then the next page is income and expenses. I track this every single month wherever I am. I make a lot of videos about how much I spend each month doing van life and stuff like that. So tracking my expenses helps for that. And I'm also just very curious about how much different countries and places around the world cost. And then I always just like keeping track of my income every month because my job is so month to month. For each month, I gave a lot of empty pages. That way I could journal, write my thoughts out and just write about my experience there and also use this as like a little thought journal. That turned out really good. I'm really happy with how that looks and I think it'll be really nice to have something to plan and organize while I'm in Asia. Now the next thing I have to do is my least favorite chore in the van. Ugh, I don't wanna do it, but it's cleaning out my toilet. This toilet separates number two and number one and that's what keeps it from smelling, so we're gonna dump this in a tree. For the other part of the toilet, I either put it in a trash bag if I'm in a city, or if I'm out in the middle of nature, I dig a very deep hole, put it in that, cover it up, put some heavy rocks on top. So let's do that. This is one of the reasons why I keep this massive shovel in the van. I also use it for mining crystals though, so it's not only for this purpose. wraps it up for the first episode of the Asia series. I'm so excited to bring you guys along on this adventure and just explore Asia with you. Japan, Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, Singapore, like it's gonna be so amazing and I'm so excited to be able to go on this journey with you and it wouldn't be possible without you guys so thank you so 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 much. You have no clue how grateful I am and how excited I am and yeah. If you did enjoy this video, please like because it really supports my channel and subscribe because I'll be posting videos every single week on Sunday as usual while I'm traveling through Asia.